guys, this is Nina. Welcome back. Like, share, and subscribe. We are definitely going to hit a thousand subscribers. I want to actually make a video to kind of wrap together a few stories that were actually trending this week that as a junior occasional YouTuber, I was actually very disturbed about. So I'm going to give my thoughts and I definitely want you guys to tell me yours about this. Make sure you hit that notification bell. First, we're going to start with Jason Lee. Now, when he first broke the story, shockingly, that Queen Elizabeth passed away, everybody was like, first, oh my G, the OMG, the Queen is like not here. And then some people was like, wow, how did this YouTuber get this information? Like, and nobody else is reporting it. So then after a lot of fact checking. And I'm actually showing you guys how the story actually came out a few days ago. Uh, when this dropped, people were like, what? First they thought the queen was actually not here no more. Then people started wondering, like, how did he get this information? Bottom line... It came out that he was telling a big, big lie. Not only that, but even um, royal fact checkers actually had to come out and have some words about this because this story was seriously trending. And I'm mentioning this because as a YouTuber, it seems like lately a lot of people are running with stories uh, and not, and I'm not going to say not fact checking it, but they're so eager to actually make a headline to become the story that it seems like they're rolling over people to just get there no matter what. Now, Jason Lee, from what I'm seeing, kind of walked this back a little bit, blaming this on someone else. However, I am surprised that he has not gotten more blowback from this. And I say this because a lot of people do go hard on Tasha K. And what happened with her and Cardi B. And how that worked out. Even though she was interviewing someone that was giving the information. I can kind of understand where people said, okay, maybe she took it too far after the interview, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. However, she wasn't the one that actually started the story. Now, in this case, Jason Lee was responsible for the story getting out. And not only was he responsible for this story getting out, even though he made up his excuse as to how this came about, it still went on his site and he was riding this story all night to the horror of so many people. So I definitely want to hear you guys' opinion about this. Are YouTubers definitely going too far just to trend, just for clicks, just for views? The other headline of this week that was literally taken internet by storm was the DJ Ac Academics, Megan Thee Stallion, and Tory Lane situation. Now this story in a nutshell got out of control because DJ Academics um, released information that he said that he got, um, he put out information concerning a court case in which Megan Thee Stallion didn't even know about and court hadn't even started yet. So a lot of people were pointing the finger saying, you know, how did he get this? His source must have been Tory Lanez and Tory Lanez lawyers. Megan Thee Stallion was really upset about this because basically it's like, how are YouTubers getting this information, etc., etc. I'm going to give you guys a little bit more background into this story because this is a little bit more complicated than the Queen uh, passing away situation. But I just definitely want to highlight, are YouTubers going too far? You know, are people literally trying to trend and get subscribers for it at any means necessary? 
and the way that DJ Academics, in my opinion, came back at Megan and was literally, you know, just riding a story all day for hours and hours and hours. I really felt alarming. Even if you're not on Megan's side, you know, he literally wrote this story for hours. And this is one of the things that he had put out. He said, um, update Tory Lane's trial adjourned till April with Tory's lawyer telling the court they have completed DNA results from the prosecution, which is very pleasing to his client. I saw the, this doc myself. It literally says it was inconclusive in finding Tory's DNA on the weapon or the weapon accessory. And so Megan the Stallion had came back out. And then this again is just a refresher from a previous video where she's basically saying, y'all breaking news 15 minutes before court start and nobody has even called was called in yet. Y'all trying to win a social media campaign. This is my real life. Y'all trying to get retweets, spreading false narratives. I am D I am academics. Why are you lying? What did you gain? So anyway, this is one of the responses that Megan put out. She put out a few more. And like I said, uh, is this even, you know, should some of the stuff not even be put out all out on social media at this point you know is social media and the need to either be first or clout chase bigger has this really just taken over everybody's minds now there's just a few more things I want to share with this story uh from from this message it got a little bit messier for Megan Thee Stallion uh, she definitely was just not feeling that people literally were putting out, DJ Academics, you know, especially, was putting out information, yet they hadn't even went to court. So, again, this second message said court ain't even started. So why y'all ready to basically start rumors? Or, you know, put the two cent in? And, um... This came from Megan Thee Stallion's uh, social media page. And like I said, it just seemed like even putting out these statements was not enough. Because from here, uh, Tory Lanez was putting out information, basically kicking, saying that he was with her and with Kelsey. DJ Academics seemed to be, you know, bathing in the glory of all the mess he was a part of, part of with Megan. And like I said, I think the entire culture uh, with people trying to be, I would like to say YouTube blogger slash loosely journalist, whatever you want to call it. Is it all going too far at this point? Should there be some sort of regulation on what can be put online or what should not be online? And I'm just going to give my thoughts on this um uh, jason lee first of all i believe him putting out that information about queen elizabeth was totally inappropriate it was shocking i think that him putting that story out without actually completely vetting that story was irresponsible it caused an uproar and I believe that because the queen is such a huge political figure that, you know, there should be some type of repercussions to him putting out that information without fully vetting it. It's one thing to want to trend. It's another to just put out outright lies and... Jason Lee really stooped to a new low on that, in my opinion. Second thing for Tory Lanez and the DJ Academics and Meg Thee Stallion situation. You know, I just wish that sometimes people would just pull back a little bit. You don't have to like Megan. You don't have to like Tory. However, you know, making things out to a point where it becomes semi-harassing, in my opinion, is not a good thing. 
Like, share, and subscribe. Share your opinion. Till next time, bye, guys.